All right, we're ready to go. Give her the whole picture this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. To start off, make sure you orient yourself. This is the anterior, just towards the front of the body. This is posterior towards the rear. All right. So let's look in here at the spinal cord. All right. You can see this structure on the inside surrounded by this white. This white on the outside is the white matter of the brain, uh, of the spinal cord, excuse me. While all this orange stuff in here is the gray matter. The gray matter in particular is what we need to talk about. You can see that there's three horns, as they're called, uh, on this model. On the front, you have the ventral horn. On the back, you have the dorsal horn. And on the side, you have the lateral horn, also known as the column. And that is the same on both sides. Over here, you also have ventral, dorsal, and lateral horns. Connecting the two, you'll see this bridge connecting here. This bridge is the gray commissure. Within the, gray, within the center of the gray commissure, you'll see the central canal, which is just a hole running vertically through the spinal cord. You'll see these two divisions within the white matter here. Uh, this one on the back here is the posterior median sulcus, while the one on the front is the anterior median fissure. One important thing to note about these, these is that the anterior median fissure has the external layer of the spinal cord actually wrapping in on it. So if such time comes when you have just a spinal cord without the vertebrae around it, you'll be able to tell which way is the anterior and which way is the posterior based on this structure being folded in on itself. All right, so now we're going to look at the nerves coming off of the spinal cord. On the anterior side here, we have the ventral nerve roots. These nerve roots contain uh, motor neurons. On the dorsal side here, you'll see that there's the dorsal nerve roots. And these dorsal nerve roots contain sensory neurons. Go to this side. Well, you'll see these dorsal nerve roots, when they come out, eventually all form together and form this giant yellow ball. This giant yellow structure is the dorsal root ganglion, also known as the spinal ganglion or the sensory ganglion. And that's it for the spinal cord model.